What's going on, guys? Welcome to J Pal Music. Of course, you can like and subscribe if you'd like. Just if you like these videos, uh, today is a very special day, interesting day. Uh, I'm a fan of Lincoln Park. I've always been. I, obviously, I've been mourning like everyone else, and you know, untimely passing of Chester. And ever since then, the band obviously hasn't been the same. Hasn't really performed as a band for many years. Mike Shinoda was doing his own thing, and uh, now they have a new singer. They are still lincoln park and uh her name is emily bloomington and they just released their single the emptiness machine really curious to get your guys' thoughts on what how you feel about um first of all emily bloomington um and then also the song the emptiness machine there was a couple of things in the song which i found really interesting as far as for the how the song was structured right so uh definitely check it out i obviously can't play it here because youtube does the youtube thing right um but as far as to talk about this at least the patterns of how the song is constructed it starts with mike shinoda and he's singing he's not rapping he's singing um and i know for some of his single stuff he's been doing more singing actually less rapping so i'm curious to see if if uh if we're still going to go that route if he's still going to be you know doing rapping you know part of the lincoln for lincoln park for this new revisioning of the band and obviously with the new singer so the song starts out with Mike Shinoda singing for his part for the first verse, chorus starts, and then it introduces Emily, right? So that's what I find really interesting, where the second verse is really the introduction to, hey, this is the new singer, this is Emily Bloomington, and she sounds really good. She has a really great rock voice. I know there's some... There's some um, there's some female rock singers that sound good, and there's some that have... I don't know. It's hard to explain uh, where it's like you kind of dip between rock and pop maybe or they kind of mix up the two. It seems like she's really going in on the rock type sound, which is really dope. She has a really good belting voice too for rock. Um, so that's really interesting. And it is definitely reminiscent of Chester. So it, it makes sense why they would choose her as far as to have that edginess. I think Lincoln Park, if anything, it has changed its, its music style over the years. But one thing that it still has remained is that sense of edginess in some way, shape, or form, right? Maybe not as edgy as Hybrid Theory. Maybe not even as edgy as Meteora, if you will. But... Um, and obviously minutes to midnight was a very different style, but it seems like there is a slight, um, you know, there's a slight edginess to this. And then obviously it's called the emptiness machine. Right. Um, so I thought it was a pretty good song. Um, the, the other, the other thing that maybe it's not the other thing, but what might be, uh, missing within this is that do we, do we feel that it's a Lincoln Park as song? I think it definitely from a song structure uh, and just the type of chords, the tone, you know, yeah, this is kind of a revisioning of the band, right? So they're kind of starting from square one, if you will, because they, they have to, right? The, the last band had a different tone, different artists. It's going to be a different thing. You know, it's like uh, audio slave without Chris Cornell. It's not the same band. It's just not right so i'm really curious to, to check out the album once it does come out they did say that the they did mention the name title as well this is on M, uh, msn.com by the way for where i'm pulling all this information the first band uh our first band the band is uh let's see before Linkin park our first band name was zero this album title refers to both humble beginning and journey we're currently undertaking she notice in a statement announcing the upcoming release i don't know if that's a typo or if they mean that their first album name is zero instead of the band's first name so that just might be a typo on their part not sure i'll have to report back to you guys once i find more information on that but of course what do you guys think about all this right uh for those who care <laughs> for those who are lincoln park fans um you know obviously had the appreciation of all the other albums you witnessing this transition of their sound and then also having of course having emily bloomington on this um what do you guys think? Are you guys, you know, kind of open arms? Like, hey, welcome. This sounds really good. I'm definitely going to give it a chance. Uh, I think, if anything, Emily definitely deserves a chance. If there's anything that she deserves, definitely a chance. I think the Empress Machine is good. Was a good introduction for her. Uh, I thought it was a great song. I thought it was, she did a great job from a performance perspective. And um, I'm open to more. I'm open to more. So, what do you guys think? 
Uh, lay it into the comments, of course, like you usually do. Again, J-Pow Music. I'll catch you guys next video. Thanks a lot.